have this passion to hear God's voice. I would say, honestly, it was God. Like, I honestly believe it was a literal impartation from the Spirit of God. The moment I got saved, I I had this incredible hunger, this cry within me that came out that said, God, I want you to speak and I want you to, I want to hear your voice. So I will do anything, I'll go anywhere, I'll do whatever I have to do to hear from you. And I literally positioned myself day and night on my bedroom floor for hours at a time. And I said, God, I'm not moving until I hear from you. So I got saved when I was 16. I, was, I had this incredible hunger and then I just started waiting on the Lord. And one night as I was waiting on Him, I felt what I now know was the presence of God and the power of God filled my room. And from that moment of being uh, baptized in the Holy Spirit, my life completely changed. My senses were activated and I began to see and hear, but yet I had no grid for it. You know, like I, I was crying out for something that I didn't even know how to, how to process what was happening. All I knew was, God, I've, I've read the word that says John 10, 27, my sheep hear my voice. So that's an invitation for me to hear. So I'm taking that promise and I'm, I'm, I want it. I want all of it. You, you start your prayer in a way I haven't heard before, and I'm going to start doing it. Yeah. You start each morning with a question for God. God, what's on your heart? You're not, you don't start with your petitions, your laundry list. Why? Why do you ask that question? I had this moment of revelation when I was sitting with the Lord one day in my room and I thought, hang on a second, this is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that I'm sitting before right now and He's invited me into this place of being able to hear His voice. So if that's true, which it is, I want to ask you what you're dreaming about. I want to know what it is that you're speaking over my life, over my family, over my city and my nation. And then I want to align myself with exactly what you're saying and decree it and activate my faith. Uh, There was a moment, uh, it was, you call it your great awakening moment. Tell me about that. Yeah, that was the very first moment that I'd been crying out to the Lord, asking to hear his voice and feasting on the word. And all of a sudden, one one particular evening, I'm sitting with the Lord and I hear an audible voice that says three words, I love you. And it startled me. It was it was literally so... Did you look around to see if someone was in the room? I did. I did. <laughs> it, it was... Uh, the only way I can describe it was that it, it just shook everything within me. It was like it was an external voice, yet it, it just it went inside of me. It reverberated within me. And it awakened me. Because up until that point, I had struggled with my identity and so much fear and not knowing who I was. And I had But but it sounds so, I hate to say it, almost trite. We hear that. God loves you. We hear that all the time. Why did it have such an impact on you? Because of what I had walked through in my life, uh, the things that I had experienced, I had a lot of pain in my heart. And in that moment, I realized it really is all about love. It is about knowing the love of God. God doesn't love me because of what I do, right? He loves me for who I am. That's a hard thing for us humans to grasp what you just said. Yeah. 